Let's do this firmware update on my FTM 400 DR. Not this is not the XDR. So just go down there. There are different instructions and firmware. So the main thing is download from the Yesu website, which looks like this. Just go to File, scroll down, and it's about here. The DR firmware and instructions. Once you've got that and you have a good read, I'm going to do this in a shortly. I'm just going to quickly take you through. The main thing is. To follow the instructions step by step you do need to take the lid off uh, for the main firmware so you disconnect the power take the lid off disconnect the speaker firmware switches here which you flick that way where I'm just I'm just running you through this then we'll do it uh, connect your SCU 20 cable to the radio and then have the other end ready to go in the laptop PC connect your power back up and then Follow the instructions that I'm going to take you through. And then once you've done this, this is the main firmware. You can put it all back together and do a factory reset. And then you've got to do the DSP firmware. Let's show you that. So the DSP firmware has separate instructions. And luckily, you don't have to take the lid off or flick any switches. You just have to put it into firm DSP mode, which is on the radio. Is hold down the D, the FMW button. So the D on the left and on the right two buttons down it's the FMW and then turn on the radio you go into DSP mode once you're in there you do actually have to press the D button one more time so the instructions are here you're gonna see me do all this uh, now I'm just quickly showing you the instructions giving you the link to make sure that you do follow them that there's the buttons there D F and turn on looks like that it says push the D key DSB com and then you'll be able to run it. You do need to go into your right click find your device manager Make sure you've already run the USB driver and then you'll find the USB com It's prolific USB to serial com port 10 on mine and then run it through and that's it You'll be done now watch the rest of the video and then let's get this done so we can then use our wires X PDN mode and you will need to register with them, but that's easy to do just go to wires X and then there's a selection there for you to to register all you do is click member registration here put your email here and then click send and you'll get a form to fill out and you'll get your room number and node number let's do this seven free or on to the next part da -da -da. connect the power cable to the all ah, right connect the power cable all right powers on this time to the main body the SCU cables connected click OK aha right so this is now Allowing us to, so we'll let that go to the end. Remember, you, this is at this point you can't turn anything off. You've got to wait for it to go to the end. Right, we're getting to the end. It's quite slow, but we are getting there. After this, I think it's just the DSP. What we'll do, we'll uh, follow the instructions at the end. Right, coming to the end. Firmware update complete. I'm going to click OK. Now it says disconnect the power from the cable. So we've done that. Disconnect the cable data. Yeah. Set the program switch back to normal, which we'll do now. If you don't, you'll find you get a black a black screen. Okay, that clicked down quite nicely. Um, and then put the cover back on. Uh, check the version number, and then do a factory reset. So let's turn the radio on. We'll put the lid on in a bit. The radio's coming on. I just put the power on. We do have a screen. Ver Let's check the version number. Remember, before it was like version 2. So yeah, I put it into factory reset window and it's now saying 3.5 and 1.2. And I did that. I just selected reset clone. I just go back one. I just held down DISP reset clone and then the numbers are here at the top okay let's move on we now need to do a factory reset so we're going to select that factory reset touch the screen it will make you put your call sign in when you do this okay and that call sign now we just select um, let's go back one. M zero M uh, zero F 
X, B. Remember, you could put a slash in your name or something, four letters. But anyway, enter that. <clears throat> so, we're all reset now. Let's just check the version number again just for fun, see what it says. Hold down DISP and then go to reset clone 3.5, 1 1.2. Right, the next thing is the DSP firmware. So let's look at these instructions. Um, let's go down. So that's the main firmware that we've done. So we'll think it's okay. Because what it is, we couldn't do PDM mode, so we need to be the latest firmware for that. We're going to scroll up. Uh, it's telling us to put the lid back on, all that kind of stuff. Disconnect the power cable. Firmware up. This is what we've already done, isn't it? We've done all this. So good instructions they are. I'll put them in the, the link to them in the thing. I'll just read through them. Look, take the, the screws off. Disconnect the speaker. Flick the firmware switch up that way. That's the way in the picture. SCU 20 cable, which comes in the box with 400. And then that's what, this is what we just did. And then now we're going to move on to the DSP. Remember to put back the instructions. Sorry, the, the firmware switch inside the radio. Right, next one. Check power, reset clone. Yeah, we've done all that. Next one is the DSP. So here's DSP. So we're going to just follow this through, right, using the programmer. So I don't think we have to do any firmware stuff. Okay, so we know we're on COM10. Let's go down. Right, let's do the next section, which is, have a look here. Let's get the right file on screen. That's it, the PC, PC tool. Let's double click it. Remember, we've got the power off at the moment, um, but the SDU 20 cable is connected to the radio, but not to the laptop yet. So let's double click. Let's go COM 10. Click OK. I might have to put in my lead now. So I'm plugging in my USB lead. We know it's COM 10 because we looked in Device Manager. We'll click OK. And then it says before update, make sure the following procedure below for details. Connect the cable to the data terminal and PC. Connect the external power supply to the transceiver. Turn on the transceiver. Uh, let's see what DSP in firmware write mode. So that's the bit we need to know is how to get it into firmware write mode. So firmware write mode, we have to push the D button, DX button, the F button, and then turn it on. So we put the power on the radio. We'll turn it off first. So it's off, and then we're going to do that procedure, which is these three, and then hold down the on. It says DSP update. Um, now we're going to click update. And hopefully, no response from radio. What have we done wrong? Let's just check my uh, cable is correct, and then we'll do it again. Oh, we have to, it says here, push the D key. Okay. So we'll go OK again. Go update, but this time we'll push the D key. we we'll push the D key and then we'll click update. Click OK. Check version. Da -da -da -da. Click OK. Which we did. And it's going. Right, it doesn't look like it's going to take too long. So hopefully... That's this, although this Yaesu FTM400DE is quite an old radio, it's actually brand new to me because no one's ever used it. So now I should be able to run my PDN mode because it wouldn't even go into PDN mode and we're going to test this um, whilst you're watching. Right, we're getting near the end, and I think we'll be good to go. New DSP. Then we'll follow. Makes it made a beep. Firmware update complete. Click OK. Turn the transceiver off. We'll do that now. Disconnect the cable, the data. We'll do that. Connect the external power. 
or battery to the transceiver. We'll do that. Okay, click OK. Well, I think we're done now. We should be able to just turn it on now. And if we look at the, we look at that firmware version again. So we'll hold down DISP, select reset, and now the DISP main and panel is 3.5 and 1.2. Maybe there's another place we look, but as far as I can see, it's all updated. So let's see if it goes into PDM mode. And the way we know this, we just turn it off, hold down the GM and the DX button. And when we turn on, like so, we should be able to do YSX. So it's saying it's showing YSX now. Last time it was just going straight to HRI 200. So what we'll do, we'll just fire up my little YSX software, which was here. Double click it here. And we know it's number 10. So we'll plug the US SCU cable back in, refresh, and we'll click number 10. Unless it's changed it. There it is there. Click OK. Let it fire up. And this time, look, it asks for my my number, my rumor, no number where before the update it wouldn't do this. So we're going to put that in, which is 79-79375 and 89-89375. And click ID entry. Do that, click OK, and what will happen, it's all going to come to life now. We're not going to change the settings now. I'm just going to show you it all come to life. The radio comes to life now. And we might even be able to have a little chat with someone. So I'll put the microphone in. It's well worth having this system because it gives you the complete system. I also use the HRI 200 box. So let's connect to a room. So connect to, might remember one of my part notes, so we're going to go 21080, going to click OK. Uh, we'll connect it straight away. Can't hear anyone, but we are connected. There you go. And then you can add, add stations, you can go down here. At the bottom is your rooms. You can right click them, add to bookmark list. If we move this window here, like so, you could, the, this is your bookmark list, save rooms. The middle section here is your users, all the different users. And the bottom one is your rooms. And then you've got more information here. So that'll do for now. So 73, thanks for watching my channel. Catch you on air, all the best. So let's do the first boot up for YSX, we'll double click the program, we'll turn off the radio, we'll hold down the two red buttons and hold, turn it on, get us into YSX mode, it's, now you've got to hold them quite firm, but not too firm, so GM, DX, and then turn on, it says YSX, then we double click, we'll do the activation, from the start, so ignore what you're seeing there, that's just me testing it. So we'll double click, and we're gonna find, right click, we know it's device manager, port number 10. There you go, and then we're gonna go refresh and find number 10 and click OK, and straight away it's gonna come up with a new window, and it's gonna ask for our room number and ID number, which is which goes here. Not Give that a minute, there it goes, so it's seven, nine three seven five then eight nine three seven five eight nine three seven five and then we just go id entry click ok and then we're into the system and that's it when it populates what you're going to see is here is all in this section here is the users and the bottom section are the rooms you can add rooms in this. This top bit is more for shortcuts. So if we right click one of the rooms here and click add to bookmark, it adds it here or you can connect to like so. Just click connect to and then there's one of my favorites 21080, that's America Link. 
We'll go straight in there and you can see the QSL card where you can add a photograph and you'll hear the audio coming through this on the radio. And it's an excellent system. Now, don't forget, this is just the SU 20 cables, not HRI, so it's digital connections. But it's really good. There's so much you can do with it. So there you are. I just thought I'd uh, show you how to get this up and running. And uh, go far. You've got transceiver settings here. There's transceiver settings. You can change the power. Now, if you want to go into access mode, you just push. I'll show you. Access mode means you can get another radio on the frequency that you choose. I'll just uh, put my FT70 there, put it on VFO mode. So let's connect to the room again. Connect to 21080. We're on, so we're on America Link. And then we'll go push the bottom right button here. Actually, let's set the transceiver first. So we'll go File, Transceiver, and we'll set a frequency that's on my radio, which is 438550. 438.5. Five five zero. We, we can even set the power. We'll click OK. The radio will reboot. But on the screen, when I push this button here on the right, that's the bottom right button. It now shows that frequency of four three eight five five zero. We can connect to America Link. So now, if I get my handheld, everything's. You should be able to see that everything's now coming out of my handheld. And I can communicate TX and RX using the handheld, walk around the house. No need for, and then the, the FTM 400 becomes like a, almost like a hotspot. But you do need to get a, um, a dummy load in, your, in the back of your radio to do that. And that's it, really. So uh, thanks for watching. Catch you on air. Bye for now.